Joe Trabolski, VP of Sales and Marketing for Hitachi Comar. Today I'd like to introduce our new Parallax all-in-one medium power DTV transmitter. These new models are self-contained in a single equipment rack cabinet and support from 5 kilowatts up to 13 kilowatts TPO. Inside the cabinet we've incorporated multiple systems including the cooling system with redundant cooling pumps as well as the entire RF system with 8-pole mask filter, output switch and system load. This design simplifies equipment installation since all that is required are the cooling connections between the transfer cabinet and the external liquid to air heat exchanger located outside the transmitter building. The Parallax all-in-one is ideally suited for existing or legacy solid state transfer replacements or next-gen TV SFN sites. Parallax all-in-one transitors utilize field-proven exact V2 DTV exciters with digital adaptive pre-correction DAP technology. DAP automatically adjusts correction of both linear and nonlinear distortions in the system to maximize the transmitter's RF performance. DAP delivers the best MER slash SNR in the industry. These exciters are future-proof, fully compatible with ATSC 1.0, and upgradable to next-gen TV with a simple license file. RF final power amplifier modules are the heart of the Parallax all-in-one transmitter. The system can house banks of three or four PA modules that are oriented vertically for easier handling. All-in-one can ultimately maintain up to eight final PAs. Each PA module weighs approximately 50 pounds and is rated to deliver up to two kilowatts RF output power. The PAs utilize asymmetric Doherty technology, which allows for equal power ratings in both ATSC 1.0 and 3.0. Each PA module is paired with a separate power supply unit to maximize the accumulated PA weight. Each PSU utilizes three commercial off-the-shelf air-cooled AC to DC rectifiers that have variable fan speed control and output of 42 to 58 volt DC and are 96% efficient. The transmitter can be configured for either 208 volt or 480 volt three-phase AC mains. Now that I've given you an overview of this new product introduction, let's head out to our high power RF test stand where we have the product set up for a quick demo. So here we are on the test stand. This is our Parallax all-in-one transmitter. This cabinet is the same basic design as our Parallax UHF and VHF products that we've been fielding for many years now. Front panel of the transmitter includes a door. In the door is the user interface touchscreen. After you open the door, you have access to all the internal of the transmitter. Here we have the internal components of the Parallax all-in-one transmitter. First thing you'll notice is that the user interface screen flips inward so the technician can use it while they're looking at the transmitter. This transmitter is fully equipped with eight amplifier and power supply modules, which is capable of 13 kilowatts TPO. Each RF amplifier is capable of 2.0 kilowatts in either ATSC 1.0 or 3.0. Each amplifier includes a separate power supply unit, PSU, and in that power supply unit, there are three AC to DC hot swap rectifiers. The bottom half of the cabinet is where it becomes all in one. Here we have the eight pole liquid cooled mask filter. Directly below that, we have the coolant sump tank with redundant pumps. Pumps are used to cool the entire cabinet and send the coolant out to the external heat exchanger. Here we are at the rear of the Parallax all in one transmitter. Here we can see the back side of the coolant tank with the level sensors. Also, the output of the eight pole mask filter feeds this four port motorized switch. One side of the motorized switch goes to the station load, liquid cooled, while the other side of the four port motorized switch then feeds the transmission line to the antenna. So now we've turned the parallax transmitter on so you can see the actual performance and operation. As I mentioned in the front of the door, here is the Parallax user interface touchscreen. Up top here, you can see on the power meter that we're making 13 kilowatts TPO, and that's after the mask filter. On the user interface, here are the same eight amplifiers that we looked at while the transmitter was off. This section shows the exciter and preamplifier or the driver stage. This section of the GUI shows the cooling system. Here we have the ability to switch between the antenna and the internal load. 
and this section shows power supply status for the control system. So if we go to the exciter and preamp, all of the redundancy is automatic in the transmitter. However, you can also manually switch just by clicking on the touch screen. You notice the transmitter goes down a little bit of power until the AGC ramps back up. Now we're back to 100%. Same thing with the cooling pumps. You can manually switch them from cooling pump one to cooling pump two. Uh, down here, we give the statistics of the cooling system. We show pump pressure, inlet and outlet temperatures, heat exchanger flow, cabinet flow, tank temperature, and even a tank level. In this section, we're looking at the power supplies for the control system. We have two AC to DC rectifiers that work in load share mode. Uh, one will fully support the transmitter if the other one dies. And we also have an internal battery backup. So if you lose AC mains power, the battery backup will keep the whole control system alive for three to five minutes. Parallax user interface has a lot of interesting information that you can dive down to to get exactly what's happening. If I click on one of the amplifier, you can see the entire statistics of what's happening in that module. Here we have all 16 pallets, the pallet current, pallet temperature. We have uh, driver statistics, forward and reflected power. Down here we have amplifier information where we have AC voltage in, DC voltage out, fan speeds, temperatures, etc. The overall transfer design is simple, rugged, and reliable for the rigorous demands of commercial, national, and public broadcasters. If you're interested in hearing more, contact us today at sales at comarktv.com. That's sales at comarktv.com for a quote. Thanks for tuning in.